it is me Sam here and you join me for my kitchen today because I'm going to be doing another cooking with Sam video and today we are going to be making a easy sponge cake and I'm going to tell you what you need now you will need butter golden caster sugar South raising flour Eggs and today we're going to be using a special kind of eggs because my mum's friend actually has a pheasant and that two pheasant eggs which means I'm going to be using slightly more because they're slightly smaller than normal eggs That is everything you'll need for the mixture. I'm now going to get the equipment I need to bake this wonderful cake. Here is the equipment you will need. Some kitchen scales. An electronic whisk with attachment a jug or small bowl to weigh out your ingredients on said scales a large mixing bowl which we've recently purchased from Wilco and you'll also need a wooden spoon to um, beat the um, butter and eggs and a whisk to um, whisk the eggs otherwise we'll be using the mixture because it's easier and I am lazy. The first thing you need to do though before any step is always wash your hands before cooking, especially during coronavirus. I'm using antibacterial dental hand soap. Always wash them for 20 seconds. Once you've washed them, have a towel or kitchen roll and st on standby to dry them with. Now everything's set up, I'm going to mix together my butter and sugar, followed by adding some eggs, then flour and mixing it all together. I'm going to time lapse me doing this. Right, I have now made the mixture, I have washed my hands again and now I'm going to quickly wash this tray and then grease it and then put that mixture in it before cooking it in the oven for I believe it is 25 minutes. I'll just double check on that one though. I am now gently greasing the tray with my butter and um, once I've done that I'm going to pour the mixture in. I'm not going to show you that bit because that's usually the bit where I get mad and almost scream but um, yeah I'll get back to you once it's in the oven right the cake is in the oven it's got to be in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes for gas mark to not gas mark yeah if you've got a gas oven you have to look up yourself but we've got a electric oven so it'd be um, 20 to 25 minutes on 200 degrees or when you poke a fork in it, it should be clean when it's ready and here's a tip for you whilst it's cooking always tidy up as you go along because then you don't have to do it all afterwards and that is exactly what I'm doing what I'm going to do now because I've made a mess it's ready 
Right, that's what it looks like. Now we have to do the test to make sure it is clean because when it's clean, that means it's ready. Clean, that means it's ready. Right, I'm now going to leave it there to cool for roughly five minutes before moving it to an airing rack so I can put the vanilla frosting on top. So the cake was kind of a disaster, but we made some calves out of the ingredients of the cake. So we used some of the sponge of the cake for the bottom of the trifle, and then used some jelly for the middle section of the trifle, then some um, custard, double cream. and double cream, and strawberries on top. Well, I think the custard was it? So there, I don't know if you can see, in the corner is the rest of the um, disastrous pieces of cake, you can call it. But it looks more like a big pizza or a big crispy like biscuit or something. But I have come to a conclusion what I'm going to do with mine. As I said a minute ago, my mum is having her into a trifle. But I am going to use mine for... Angel Delight because we've got some powder in the cupboard and I'll use some of these strawberries which I got from Asda earlier. So the actual main reason for the cake failing was because of the size of the baking tray baking tray. Um a cake that I used because it's like a jumper one that um we've used previously on bakes but I used it this time for cooking this cake and you definitely should use a smaller like cake tin if you like making like a good cake because that large one is not very good to say the least so at least we're still using the um ingredients out of the cake though but before the end credits, I'm going to put a picture of my mum's trifle and my whatever I produce. But until then, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below and also subscribe to the channel and help me reach 800 subscribers. Bye guys. Peace out.